Hello, and welcome to an introduction to Ansible Vault and the secrets file. So, first up, we're going to start with nothing and we're going to create our vault file. So, Ansible Vault create secrets.yaml. Add in a password, and now we're going to add a key and a value. So, the name of the variable and then the, the, the value of the variable, which is in our case our password. Save the file. So we can view that file with edit. You can put, put the password in, you can see the, the key value. You can also edit it, same process. We'll put a five on the end. Okay, so now if you try and look at that file, it's just gobbledygook, you know, it's encrypted. So now we're gonna create a playbook that's gonna read that file. So it's the same format as any other playbook. We start with our hosts and we move on to tasks. So we're going to use a debug module and all we're going to try and do is display that variable. So okay, so when we try and run this, here we go. So if we try and run it now. It fails. There's an undefined variable that we're trying to call. It doesn't know where to find it. So let's tell it to look in the secrets file. So we add vars file above tasks. Add in the secrets.yaml. And then run it again. This time we get attempting to decrypt but no vault secret found. So what we can do is we can add an ask vault pass to the end and it will prompt us for the password. And there you can see. We can see our super secret password from the secrets file. Now what we can do is if we create our Ansible CFG file and we add in the vault password file location and then we create that file with the password in it. So open secret and then the password in this case is password123 now when we rerun we can take off the ask vault pass and it will just run and that is the example of how to use Ansible vault and secrets subscribe for more videos